This is your boy, Fat Man. I am here from my home in New York. Yes, New York. Coronavirus. <laughs> All that shit. Listen, it's been crazy, right? And the moment I step online, I hear from not one source, but this girl. Best, uh, she's a fantastic YouTuber. She deserves probably half a million. <laughs> probably she needs to hit that million. I, I support a lot of creators. and I didn't like her shit before because her camera was always like weird and ugly. But... This YouTuber right here, fantastic. She's fantastic. And she reported on this too. Thundercats Roar users. Controversy. You know, it's a backlash on fans. You know, just come at us. And shout out to Clownfish TV. They've reached they've reached a milestone. I think they're gonna keep growing because they're always talking about the news, they're always reporting. And this Thundercats Roar canceled. So what we have here on Twitter, this is where it all goes down. And Teen Titans kind of I don't know how Teen Titans go or how Teen Titans go uh, writers and creators were like, hey, uh, we're gonna we're gonna kinda, you know, take the, the criticism and the shouting and the, the angriness from old fans, new fans of Thundercats Roar uh, excuse me, and put it in an episode. Okay, I respect that. They put it in the episode that the Titans are mad. They they thought the new Thundercats was going to be awesome, but the drawings and designs look like them. They go in on making fun of Thundercats. And right here, they even bring the voice actor of the original Lionel. They bring they bring the original voice actor. They draw the original Lionel. They do all of that goodness. And I want to get to they, they look, Thundercats Roar does have good action. That is what I hear. It has incredible fire action. But they do something very appalling, very disrespectful. And I, I there's a couple of disrespectful jives. They disrespect fans, or, or OG fans. And they're basically telling us, shut the fuck up. No offense to y'all. I don't watch the show. The only time I watch the show, and, and you can hashtag Thundercats Roar on YouTube. Clownfish TV comes up three days ago that um they mock people. Like, look, this is... The T Titans go is, you know, they're understanding the fans. And then underneath them, here's me. Here is small fat man DD1. Now, I respect the fuck out of this. Oh, this, I, I gotta watch this later. But I respect this. Because my video goes into detail and breaks down why I don't like Thundercats Roar. Why I'm not fucking with Thundercats Roar. Why I believe kids deserve better than Thundercats Roar. There's a hundred percent reasons why I believe that. And this is one of them. So Snarf right here, Snarf, Snarf, is a little pissed. After Lionel says, well, let me go back. I'm gonna scroll down. Lionel says, if anyone that does Lionel right here, the original voice actor comes back and voices Lionel. And this this is his comments. You've shown me that Thundercats Roar, you know what I'm saying, is worthy successor, and anyone who doesn't say uh, my bad, who doesn't say otherwise, has a poo mouth with poo opinions. Bitch, what? You want, you're talking about success. Look at these niggas. Look at this and look at this. I can tolerate this for as long as I can because I want the originals to come back. I don't care what stats you show me. I don't care. Just put it on DC Universe. Just put the, just put the original Teen Titans on there. Just do it, DC. Just do it. Nobody's really watching your shit anyway. You know, like seriously. And then you, and then you got this. Oh, this is my worthy successor. Look how mad Panthro is. This nigga's like happy, 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 ditzful. Get the fuck out of here. And then he says, the original voice actor. What comes out of his mouth is, is this some childish, goofy shit? Fuck is wrong with you, Cartoon Network. Fuck is wrong with you. You and and the kids. There, there are kids watching this, right? Right, kids? So you're telling those kids that they have poo-poo opinions? I don't watch Thundercats Roar. The only time I watched it was when it came out and it was on 
the when it was actually on the website of Cartoon Network. And I wanted to sit down and review it and actually go through it and actually dissect it and actually talk about it like a real reviewer and YouTuber should. You know, because I've been seeing people judging it. I've been judging it too on the animation, on the way it looks. Because I didn't I didn't I believe kids deserved more. He's like, oh, it's gonna be action, it's gonna be love litter to, to old school fans and new school fans. You say those you say that with the most powerful intentions ever, but when you show the when the show comes out, it just it just sticks out like shit. That's just how it is. I'm gonna be real with you. And this is coming from a fat dude who's worked multiple jobs, who has a background role in like one fucking show, and who's a security guard. So this is coming from me. And all I do is make videos. I people want to get mad at me, like, oh, but you don't have a right to talk. Well, you know what? I was a kid once though. I have all right to fucking talk. I grew up on Cartoon Network. I grew up on cartoons. I grew up on the hilariousness of Cartoon Network and the fun that Cartoon Network used to bring to my life every time I used to come home from school. Now I have anime to look forward to. Now I have maybe some shows from Disney to look forward to. Nothing in Cartoon Network's portfolio. The Cartoon Network doesn't have a portfolio anymore for me to fuck with them. Toonami's cool and all that, but I, I can still watch that online for free. No offense to anybody out there who pays for anime, you pay for anime, pay for anime. But look, this is not what I'm talking about. Don't take the... And first of all, how dare you take the original voice actor and make him sit down say some lines like this. You know that dude was like, why am I calling people with poo-poo opinions so I have a shit mouth and shit opinions, right? But you're talking, you're telling me that this is the best you can do. This is the ultimate. This is the 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 best cartoon in the world. No, nigga, get out of here. Get out of here. And what makes it even worse, it, it makes fans feel like they've been shitted on. It makes fans feel fucking tiny. And just hear what this nigga That's said. Right. He said some no, shit. No. That's right. Hold up. Look at these guns. Bulliosity! That's right. Probably I guess hear no one cares Starfish about poor old Scarf. Poor you. Huh? And then the, and Lion O shrug they have the they even mock this version of Snarf. That's the old school version of Snarf. And the two thousand eleven version of Thundercats. Lion O. This Lion O just shrugs his shoulders like, mm, I don't care. I know that shrug. Boy, I know that shrug anywhere. That's the shrug that says, I do care, but I wanna I don't wanna acknowledge it. But you know what makes this worse? This. Besides them disrespecting us with the original voice actor, Snarf, and the 2011 fucking Lion-O. This. In the corner. A dead panthro. And I'm, I'm gonna be... I don't... Someone could be like, oh, but that's actually Skeletor. I mean, that's actually Munra. I'm like, no, gee. No, gee. Look. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna size the picture up. I'm gonna scroll in. Right? And I'm gonna scroll in real deep. That's panthro. That's Panthro's nunchucks. That's uh, a, that's Panthro's skull. That's his armor. Is this supposed to be like a, a tribute to the original voice actor because he passed away? You didn't have to show this. This could have been Mumra. This could have been Mumra. Mumra rags. Mumra staff. Mumra. Mumra. This could have been Mumra. Dead. The old school Mumra. Uh, dead or whatever. Why is it? Why did? Why are there nunchucks here? Why is this Panthro? Why is Panthro dead? Why did you do this? What? What made you? What? What? What dark humor made you say, "Yeah, that's perfect. Put that in there. Let's, let's slide it in there." Now, now, this is from Teen Titans Go or Thundercats Go Crew. Who? Who said Thundercats Go Crew? Fuck, can't 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 decipher from them. Who said this was smart? Who said this was good? Who said this was funny? Who? Because now to me and to other fans, this is kind of disrespecting the voice actor who passed away in 2017. It's kind of disrespectful. You may not think so. You may say, nah, nah, G. But you don't know what disrespect means when you disrespect somebody. This is kind of, no, this is shitting on someone who gave their life, their career to the shit that they love. And they're no longer with us. And people believe that, people who grew up on this is like, yo, they think. You know how many conventions people used to go to? to, to th I never in my life thank a voice actor for their job or the shit that they're supposed to do because I feel wholeheartedly you deserve this role and you killed it. You killed it and you deserve it. You know why Lionel 2011 here didn't talk? Because that was the voice of um the dude from um Eric. The dude that I, was, I always go back to Eric from Boy Meets World. That voice actor didn't have a, a playing role. That's why he shrugged his shoulders. 
Because that dude didn't want to come in to say one small line, not even get paid and walk out there. No, fuck out of here. Yeah, disrespectful because this is highly disrespectful. And what's even worse is you got, you got the man right here, bro. 2011 Thundercats is fire. And I hate that Cartoon Network just seems to sit aside and they seem to take everything and make shit crap. Now, I heard that the Thundercats of War has good animation. They have good animation, good fight scenes. And you know what? Fine. I've heard the same shit. It's I heard it's gonna I heard it's supposed to be action packed, action filled. But what I'm upset about is the fact that you guys just seem to shit on fans. Now, Clownfish TV goes in deeper saying they hear that the show is canceled. And she even says that the show is canceled. I hope, and this is no offense to anybody out there, I want a lot of go Clownfish TV's video goes into more more depth in depth detail. So check that out. Link in the link link in the description below. Or whatever pops up here. But they talk about it. They go in depth that the writers and artists or people that worked on Thundercats War are looking for work now. Because, you know, they, they were done with it. They're looking for work. I don't want to be that person that says, if they're looking for work, the show must be bad. And Teen Titans makes fun of Thundercats Go. Thundercats go. I can't stop saying go without saying, like, roar. Robin's face takes it from me. Like, look at Beast Boy. Upset with it. Raven's pissed. But this is supposed to be making fun of fans, right? This is supposed to be fans, and and Starfire is the only one who likes it. Everybody, it's wonderful. Look, I don't want to be the guy that tell everybody. Oh, a friend of mine's was like, "Yo, let kids watch what they watch. Let them like what they like." I'm like, "What are you talking about, bro? What kid? What kid is gonna want to watch this?" I think in my mentions, there's a mom who actually, there's a mother who said that she's shown her daughter the original Thundercats and she said her daughter liked it better. Let me see. Right here, right here. My daughter and I came across Thundercats Aurora yesterday. Okay. And this was, this was, you know, March 14th. I had to stop it. Just after the opening sequence. Oh, okay. And show her the original Thundercats. She said... That the original was better and we binge watched classic 90s cartoons. I read that whole sentence without fucking up. I have terrible spelling, by the way. That's wonderful. Her daughter. She showed her daughter this. She showed her daughter Thundercats. She showed her daughter this. And then she stopped it and said, nah. I'm going to show you some good fucking cartoons. And her and her daughter binge watched 80s, my bad, 80s cartoons. Classic 80s cartoons. That's beautiful. And I, and I even say, like, she's a good kick-ass mom. She says, thank you. I say, no biggie. Because you you took what was already there. You said, I don't want you watching this shit. So let's 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 you watch something better. I think all parents need to do that. Like I said before, and I keep saying this to people, kids deserve better. Remember when you were a kid. Remember when you were sitting down watching something. Remember when you were like, this is not it. And you knew. You knew right then and there this isn't it. And I changed the channel. And you then you see something like your first exposure to anime early afternoons. I remember on regular school days, when I never, when I never, before I went to school, Pokemon came on, and I heard that theme song. I wanna be the very best, and no one ever was. I was like, what? To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I was like, what? I would travel across the land, searching far and wide. These Pokemon to understand the power that's inside Pokemon. Once that fucking beat dropped, I was lit. I was gone. I can't say the same thing for Thundercats Go. Somebody did right in, the, in my video here. My video here, this, this is the most popular video on my channel right now. The comment sections is flooded. The comments on my video is flooded. We're going to click it right now. I'll make sure I stop it. All right. 
the, this is my video. The comment, look, I, this is more comments than I ever had in my life. In my life. And I got 20 dislikes. People may not agree with me. Fine, you don't have to agree with me. I'm not trying to convince you something. I'm trying to prove to you something. Because there's facts and there's evidence. And if, even if I don't have hardcore, fundamental, additional, uh, fucking uh, tablet facts like the motherfucking, <laughs> motherfucking Moses with, with all the information, I got comments of people who will agree with me and disagree. Look, we're going to say the same age-old argument. And the age-old argument is people will like it, people will hate it, people will diss it, people won't fuck with it. I tried reviewing 2011 version of the Cats. You know what got me upset is? It got, it got me a strike. What forced me to delete it, and I blame Warner Brothers, because y'all really, really... Got on my case for that. And I was trying to promote it for you. The moment. Thundercats Roar. Starts mocking fans. And little kids. Little kids are watching the show. I don't think an older adult is watching the show. And even if an older adult. That does like Thundercats. Sucked it up. And said you know what. I'm going to watch it. Why do you. Where do you get off. Where do you get off. Disrespecting and shitting on. On, on fans. Where? Maybe you can say, Fat Man, you little, you doing a little too much. Fat Man, that's OD. Fat Man, nah. But even this man says it right here. He even says it. What did they do to Thundercats? Like, what? Like they ruined our childhoods? Look, I take a lot of things serious. A lot, there's a lot of personal shit here. A lot of people here are posting. A lot of people here could be mad about it. A lot of people want to see Thundercats were canceled. Look, to be real with you, haha, <laughs> John Tron. I love, I love John Tron. When it comes down to good animation, you really want the best for kids. I'm not gonna be the guy saying nothing about nothing. This bird dude look cool. That's like a heart. That was kind of cool. This cartoon had good shading, good energy. This was old school Thundercats. And I may not be the best person in the world. This, this, is, this, is, this is a nice little topic. And, and this picture may describe it. This is everybody who doesn't like Thundercats Roar. And these are the people who were like, oh, it looks nice. You're idiots like Starfire. Starfire is top 10 stupid <laughs> of all time. Like, ugh. And I, got, I remember getting into a debate with a friend. And he was like, why are you bringing negativity to me, bro? Why are you bringing negativity to me, bro? And I was like, I want to tell a motherfucker, look, I'm not bringing negativity to you, bro. I just said it was bad. Simple as that. He looked at me and said, oh, but it's for kids. And I said to him, once again, what what, what kids are this for? What kids would want to watch this? What kids is this for, bro? What kids? Ah, oh, man's aged child. Will always cherish the original Thundercats. Thundercats Roar may not be the art style I was hoping for, but it is a new revolution. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. There's a reason I wanted to review this version of Thundercats. There's a top 10 reason why. The action is good, the animation is fire, the characters are incredibly detailed. Lionel and his brother, I think, become more, like, linked up together. His brother uses a cool gun, which is lit. Shira is badass, like, sexy and bad. She was the pinnacle of everyone's dream crush growing up in the 80s. Shira, sexy, my bad, Shira, uh, Chitara. Fuck that come. Chitara was the pinnacle of sexiness growing up. Sexy, beautiful, fast, everybody's crush in the 80s. Chitara. Lionel was uh, a kid trapped in a man's body, but the, I like that what they take the spin on it. I'm a kid growing up becoming a warrior. Panthro being the leader, pushing Lionel to do what he has to do, training him to get his shit together, bro. And him and his brother always going back and forth. My man, I can't tell you the worst thing in the world is to see that she's no longer beautiful, kick ass, a badass. She, she has that badass mentality, but it's not what it was before. The dude's brother is now a scrub. Panthro was like, eh. 
and Wiley Kid and Wiley Cat is just, bro, this isn't it. They they really diminished the the energy of Thundercats. And I say this from a fan. I could be over saying too much. I could be doing too much. You could be like, oh, you just bitching, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Fine. I want the show to be canceled. Because this will be their third installment. And Cartoon Network loses the property. Voltron. These are the main, I think of the main three shows that have been around for about forever. And... I may be a dickhead, right? I think these are the shows that have been around forever. Forever. And... Voltron shows. Oh, wow. The Voltron shows in order? They have them in order? Alright. The best Voltron shows... Oh, yeah. Voltron shows in order. Do they have an order? Shows in order. <clears throat> Voltron has been around for fucking years. Transformers, Voltron Force, Voltron in general, He Man somehow coming back, making a comeback. Thundercats from the 80s, these are the ones that have survived. Voltron Force, Lions, Voltron. Mm, I don't think this is what I mean in order, but whatever. I was trying, I was trying to look for like all the all like the Voltron stuff like lined up from the first one to the third, the, from the second to the third dimension to up to date. Voltron has been living forever, and they never have never shitted on Voltron. I hate it when the fan base of the Voltron uh, Legendary Defenders got a little. Little extra on the on the male characters and the gayness, but at the same time, those like little those are girls that don't know themselves that are really into these animated cute boys. You know what? That's fine. That is fine. But guess what happened to that hypeness and that fandom? It's over there still, and the show ended, and they ain't talking about Voltron no more until Voltron does make a comeback. Like every series, they make a comeback. They start a new, a new branch. They start a new storyline. They take new characters. They reboot things. They switch things up. I wanted Thundercats to go through a traditional reboot. When it came to 2011, I felt like they were in the right path. They kept it going. But Cartoon Network didn't push. Cartoon Network did what it always does. Throws it out there like they did Symbiote Titans and didn't give a fuck about it. They threw it out there. They didn't care about it. They didn't take time to focus on it. They didn't talk about it enough. They didn't break it down enough. And guess what happened? They didn't sell toys. They didn't make toys. They didn't promote this shit as they're supposed to. And what happened? It died. Where are Symbiote Titans now? On Netflix. I say for the most part, this is disrespectful. Regardless of what you do. And then taking the original voice actor and making him voice act. Boy, please. You want to you want to hear more? Clownfish TV has it. This girl ha- they break it, they break it down so much better than I do. But I'm mad on one end. I don't watch Thundercats of War. Except the review I did. But that was for self-preservation. If I'm gonna be mad at a show, if I'm gonna have a reason to hate it, let me watch it and actually have a reason not to like it. The animation I didn't fuck with, but maybe that was just Oh, this is the sh- this is the animation we're showing, but we're gonna switch it up when we get into actual development, like Steve Universe. I was dead wrong. There's no views. If if I find out the TV views of Thundercats Roar and people are just like, there's no views, it's not doing well, it's not making money. Cool. Guess what that means? It's gonna be canceled. And this is their third attempt at it. Their third reboot. Are you really? So your third. Third time, know what to say. One strike, two strike, three strikes, you're out. This is your third chance, Cartoon Network. And now, y'all want to make jokes. Y'all want to mock fans. And y'all want to be like, oh, our criticism doesn't matter. <clears throat> Fuck you. Straight up. Fuck you. I don't want to be that dude that just says, well, I don't want everybody losing their jobs. But the moment criticism isn't taken serious, it's just a pain in the ass. It's a pain in the right butt cheek. Look at that. That lion was lit, bro. 
and they throw that at people, bro. I'm not. I'm. I take it as too as too much. As too much. You gonna throw it in the face of Gen Xers? Throw it in the face of anybody? Oh, and Macam Random Forty Two, because I think I just seen her. She talk. I know she. If she talks about it, that's beautiful. That means she has a beautiful. She has a better thumbnail than I do. I'm not gonna be the guy to talk about this. And even if I do talk about this, I will let motherfuckers know the disrespect. Macarena right here, she talks about this type of shit. She's a cool YouTuber. I'm going to leave it on this. This right here, Cartoon Network, disrespectful. Your whole show, corny, whack. It's not for kids. A mother showed her daughter this and said, fuck it. If you watch anything, just go watch anime. Go watch anime. Leave Cartoon Network behind. Let Cartoon Network learn from their mistakes. Cartoon Network, you should take the 2011 version of Thundercats and put it on that HBO Max. You should do it. You should do it. You will thank us because we're the fans and we know best for the properties and products that we want to buy and support. I had an argument with my friend about this. And he just felt that he was completely right. He's like, oh, let people enjoy things. Look. I've said these things before. Oh, can't people just enjoy what they love? Can't we just enjoy this? Oh, it's for kids. That it's for kids argument doesn't doesn't have ground. I was a kid too. I'm probably still a kid. Mentally, I'm still my my, my same old self. I haven't I haven't grown up as much. I haven't I've grown as much to know what I used to like. I can remember everything from when I was little. I know what I like. I know what I hate. So you think kids don't know what they like? Don't know what they hate? This isn't consume product, consume product, consume product. This is, is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? This rant could be too much. But straight up, this was disrespectful. The whole episode y'all made was disrespectful. And Cartoon Network, you need to drop this Thundercats Roar shit before it just, you know, goes out of control and fucks y'all up. Straight up. Straight up. This is Fat Man DD1. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I'm out. Peace. Motherfuckers need to learn.